and rising everyone welcome to my channel this is lighthouse please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share take what resonates from these messages please leave what does not use your own intuition when interpreting these messages everything you need to know is in the video <laughs> is in the video i know that's right it's in the uh description box the below the video if you'd like to book a personal reading with me you can do so at my website this is lighthouse.com or my Instagram page, IG. This is Lighthouse79. Let's jump right in. Thank you to my angels, ancestors, guides, and the divine for allowing me to be a clear channel. This is a message from a lost loved one, a past loved one. Somebody would like to reach out to you. And this is a special message, special uh, messages his channel messages as well if, if they I'm using a new dick deck huh, using a new dick somebody is uh, being a dick I feel well let's start with these four, four beautiful cards I, I recently got this deck and I figured let me try it out Somebody needs to hear these messages. I always give you a good night kiss. I always give you a good night kiss. Um, every deck that I receive, I sage because of several different reasons. You know, you don't know where this stuff is coming from, what energy is in it. I always sage my decks last night. When I was saging, it uh, you probably can't see it, but it's a little discolored right here. It burned. It got burned on the sage. Um, a sage burnt this. I don't know. Maybe somebody was a sage, was burning sage, is a Sagittarius. I always give you a good night kiss. Your lost loved one would love you to know that they're always around. When we pass away, a lot of people feel that you're gone, and that isn't true. I mean, it is true based on what you believe. But the highest truth, the ultimate truth is that is not true. That's not in alignment with the ultimate truth, you know. I am with the rest of the family. I also hear that I, I am traveling. They're traveling. They go to see other family members, other friends, you know, other dimensions, other places. When your loved member passes away, when your loved one family member passes away, they're greeted by other family members, their guides. Um, you know, they're not alone. It is beautiful where I am. They want you to know that they're okay, you know? You know, a lot of people believe that you know, when somebody dies, they're they're the lucky ones. You know, we're the ones that they they, they believe that they're the lucky ones. Like they worry about us. You know, we worry about them, but they're in a great place. They're in a place of unconditional love, is what I just heard. I don't know. That reminds me of like a state park. Like there, I actually see canoes here. You know, Bear Mountain is what I'm hearing. Lake Lanier is what I'm hearing. I don't know, maybe somebody drowned on Lake Lanier. I'm getting drowning from that picture. Somebody, somebody drowned. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry for your loss. I'm getting that, I don't know, I, I, from, from this particular picture, the energy I'm getting was that you were there. You were there when the accident happened. It was a really bad accident, and you were there. It's bad enough when somebody passes away, but when you're there to see it, it's just on a whole nother level, you know? I 
I don't know who this resonates with, but I'm hearing rest your mind, rest your heart. Free your mind. One, an, an upstairs neighbor just rolled something across the floor and it sounded like thunder. So that was a confirmation. Free your mind. It is beautiful where I am. I send you loving signs through nature. That butterfly also remains... I was going to say represents, but somebody was trying to say remember. Remember me. Remember me. The butterfly I was trying to explain represents transformation. On the wings of love is what I hear. They're on the wings of love and on the wings of angels. I'm hearing the birds chirping outside. They're in a happy place. I heard somebody's on a cruise. I don't know who that resonates with. <laughs> But they, whoever, you know, a lot of people, okay, I will say this. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, but just like assholes, everybody has one, you know? It doesn't make it right. You know, whatever is right for you is right for you. Whatever you believe is what you should believe. You know, you can't tell everybody else what to believe because everybody's journey is different. Everybody's life lessons are different. Everybody's experiences are different. So what might be right for you might not be right for other people. I feel like this resonates with a few people. Some recently people used to be skeptic. I'm, I'm just getting that, picking up that energy. It used to be, you used to be skeptical, but then somebody that you love passed away and now that you know it's them because they send you loving messages through natures, through nature. Nature also means name. So the messages you're getting is unmistakably your loved one is what I'm hearing. It's unmistakably your loved one. I'm being also guided to tell you that through this particular card, I feel like this resonates with a lot of people. Um, we had an instance yesterday at home with my daughters and I, and it just brought me back to realizing that. And I'm telling you this because I'm being moved to tell you this. It resonates with you. A lot of people or some people find things missing. Because it happens to me. And the first time that I found out who moved my stuff. Because you know, you know, you have children, you're looking for something. The first thought you think of is, is somebody in your household. In the physical. And it is somebody in your household. But sometimes the person is not physical. Because when you when you transcend, you know, we're never you never die. You just transform. You transcend this plane. And you, you know, you graduate, so to speak, onto a different plane, not, not higher or lower, just a different plane. So we're taught that society teaches us that everybody goes into heaven when they pass away. But it's not so much heaven because we're taught that there's heaven and earth, but there are infinite dimensions. So wherever you left off in life is where you pick up in death, if that makes sense. So I'm being led to tell you that. So a lot of people, whoever was on a cruise who liked to vacation and travel in life, they're doing the same thing now. So I feel like somebody needed to hear that. Also, what I was going to tell you was I get a lighthearted energy with this. Um, you're not going crazy. Sometimes you feel like you hear sounds, you smell the other person, you hear them calling your name. Or they're moving things and um, you think that you're losing your mind. You're not. Our ancestors and our guides and our, uh, you know, our angels, people on the other side, passed over loved ones, want to reach us. Excuse me. As I was explaining on my, um, on my, you know, a little blurb about me on my about page or, you know, the description under the videos. I can't remember where it is or on my uh, website, but it explains that, you know, they always want to reach out to you. Spirit is always speaking to you. It's just who's tapped in and who's listening. When you raise your vibration, you can you can speak to <laughs> Dr. Doolittle is what I'm hearing. Yes, I can speak to animals. You can speak to nature. See, 
You can speak to nature. You can speak to animals. The wind has a voice. You can speak to the angels and ancestors when you raise your vibration. So back to what I was telling you about missing items. They're not missing. Um, it used to annoy the shit out of me. Like, oh my God, what the heck? You know, especially when you're rushing for work, you can't find keys, can't find headphones, can't find any number of items, right? And how it happens to me and how I feel is happening to you as well. And maybe this is your confirmation. It is, is what I just heard. When spirit moves something, right? They put it back and you know for a fact you left it in a certain place. For instance, you see how this is here? I'll use this as an example. This is here. We all see it. They will move this and put it back in a different place. So you know for a fact, you know without a doubt you know distinctively that they moved it. You know that, you, especially if it's something that always stays in one place. They'll move it and put it back in a different place to let you know that it was them who moved it. You know you didn't put it there. And that's right. They didn't put it there. From what I understand, um, I'm sure everybody has different abilities. And we all have different gifts, powers, and abilities. But my spirit team, how they replicate things in this earth, on this world, is they touch it. When they touch it on this earth realm, then they can replicate it onto their dimension. And that's how my spirit guides work. I'm, like I said, I'm just repeating. Everybody's spirit guides have different gifts, talents, abilities. Whew. I feel like somebody has took a deep breath because they finally, they kind of felt like they're, uh, I, I'm hearing cousin. I'm hearing cousin, brother from another mother. So I feel like somebody knew that they were okay, but this is a confirmation that they're okay and you're having a wonderful day. You're going to have a wonderful day and you know, you just feel a, a weight lifted off of your shoulders because of hearing this message. They're more than okay. They're on vacation. I hear, I heard Yonkers Raceway. I keep hearing Yonkers Raceway, so maybe somebody's gambling, you know? Um, like I said, whatever they like to do, um, and it's not always that way. Sometimes you like to, for instance, you like to gamble. You were good at it, but you know, you take it as it resonates. So, and I'm just using gambling as an example because they said Yonkers Raceway, uh, casino. So I don't know, maybe somebody's watching casino. You're at a casino and I'm hearing Foxwoods too. So I don't know, take it as it resonates, but maybe you like to go to Foxwoods with this person and you still go there and you still, you know, you see, and I'm, they're showing me the, the slot machine, 777. So maybe you used to go there with them, you know, or on trips or, you know, those bus trips or whatever. And um, they're there with you. They're there with you. They are there with you. They are there with you. They move things around so that they can be close to you. Sometimes it's annoying. But again, because we have free will and we have authority and dominion over our own property, in the beginning, and, and still in the beginning, in the beginning there was man. Um, still even now, sometimes I think it's cool that they move things like, yeah, you know, we want to be part of your family. We still are part of your family, you know. But I get annoyed sometimes. I'm human and I keep it real. I get annoyed. Like, what the hell are you moving my shit for? Especially when we have to be at work or someplace at a certain time. Um, you know, we have to be someplace at a certain time and... No, they said don't take that one. Take this one. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at the heart. You know what I get from this? Um, Black Panther, when um he visits his um When he visits his father on the ancestral plane. Honestly, I get that. Um, I don't know what they tell us that he's drinking to be able to connect to the ancestral plane. But I'm getting ayahuasca. So you guys look that up. Ayahuasca. I wish I had told you how more often. Excuse me. I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. I don't know. I get some pl from this card, you know, no disrespect. They're, they're telling me to give you this message, but 1441. So that's a confirmation. I don't know. Maybe somebody did not know how to read. Somebody was learning to read or didn't know how to read or was dyslexic is what I'm getting. Not necessarily from this card, but just from the whole message, you know, and they're learning to read now. Is that what they would like you to know? 
they're educating, continuing education is what they said. Whatever that they didn't finish, which is what I was kind of going into. If, and I was using gambling as an example. But um, I have, I told you lately that I love you is what I'm hearing. I love that Rod Stewart song. 15, 15. Maybe they were 15 years old when they passed away. They were born on the 15th. They were 30 when they passed away. Um, go watch that Black Panther movie again is what I'm being told to tell you. Because I was explaining, you know, I was explaining in one of my other videos that Sometimes when we're moved to do things, there's a reason for it. Even if you've watched a movie 10 times, they're saying the sixth sense, watch that movie. Even if you've watched a movie 10 times, or maybe you have watched that movie, um, the sixth sense 10 times. Whenever you watch a movie, no matter how many times you've watched it before, you always get a new message because you have, you know, since the last time that you watched any particular movie this is, You've gained new understanding, new knowledge, new awareness. So it's always a different message every time you watch a movie. Maybe you and this person used to love to watch movies together. I'm getting, um, I'm seeing like a drive through movie. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. You see what I was telling you about the ancestral plane? Remember it was purple? The violet flame of transmutation is what I'm hearing. The violet flame of transmutation. Maybe... Somebody liked violets, like the color purple, was watching the movie, The Color Purple. Maybe your name was Violet. But this is exactly what I was talking about. We have, what does this say? We have been together in dreams, yes. I come to you in your dreams. When I come to you in your dreams, this is, this is for a few people. When I come to you in your dreams, and you wake up crying. It's because I'm right there with you. But I can only come to you in your dreams because of your level of consciousness. Wow. That was really, really deep. somebody started crying after that that's why I'm channeling the tears you are never alone never we are always with you always and in always and so we come to you in your dreams we move things around we let you know that we love you lavender is what I'm getting lavender and chamomile I'm getting from this picture and look at that you are never alone. Look at the lighthouse. Ulysses Lighthouse. Maybe you're visiting a lighthouse that you want to. Maybe you have lighthouse theme. There's actually a movie, The Lighthouse, they're telling me. I never watched it before. But they're telling me that. We are taught that tears are a sign of weakness and that is a fucking lie. That's a lie. Tears cleanse the soul. That is a lie. That tears are a sign of weakness. Tears are a sign of strength. Tears are a sign that you have been strong for too long. Tears cleanse the soul. You see? I'm going to put it up there again. They told me to tell you this. You're not crazy. You're not losing your mind. Your ancestors are reaching out to you. And they love you. It's okay to cry. Especially if somebody just transitioned. Cry. If you need to, you don't need to worry about when anybody thinks. Worry about what you think and your mental wealth, health, and well-being. I'm being moved to tell you this, that... When we had gone to Disney World, uh, maybe about three or four years ago now, for our family reunion, we had a beautiful weekend. It was absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Me spending time with my family. That was the last time I spent, maybe this is why I'm being moved to tell you guys this, that was the last time I spent 
um, with my grandpa um, when he was alive. Maybe you live in Florida, you plan on going to Florida, your grandparent or whoever, your loved one lived there or wanted to go there. Well, I'm being moved to tell you that wherever they wanted to go in life, which is why I started out with gambling. Some people are gambling, if they whatever they did, or traveling, you know, just using those as examples. Whatever they did in life, they're continuing to do that. But some people, other people, are you know, different strokes for different folks. Other people are continuing their education, like learning to read or, you know, wanting to go into a place and never having gone there um, on the physical plane. So they're traveling on the ancestral plane. Like I said, this card reminds me of Black Panther when he visits his dad on the ancestral plane because of all the purple. And the purple represents the violet flame of transmutation, the color purple. And when I think about it, when I watch the movie, I don't know this for a fact, but my heart tells me that's exactly what it means. I mean, if you've ever watched the movie or watched it again, you realize the, trans the transmutation, the transformation that she came from, where she was and where she went. When I watched that movie recently, last week, I totally had a new understanding of it as an adult. I haven't seen it. As in, I haven't seen it in a while as an adult. Life is a series of choices. You choose love. Like I was telling, you know, in my videos, I choose life. I speak life. I choose love. I choose happiness. I choose peace. The peace that surpasses all understanding is what they're telling me. And and here is what they're showing me to show you the back of their the back of this card. All of the cards have this. Something happened just now. I don't know if you guys saw that. Well, that was the confirmation from this person who this resonates with. Look at where they are. It's gorgeous where they are. You see? They said there's so many beautiful colors. They can't, they don't, they thought they had a favorite color. I said that the same, I said something like that last night to myself. I thought I have a favorite color. But with all these beautiful colors that where they are, they can't choose. And why should they have to? They're just kidding. And they say about choosing, they don't have to choose. They can have it all. They're saying the same thing to you. You can choose your life as you want it. Life is a choice. Choose love. Choose life. Speak life. Choose happiness. I am more than okay. And I wish the same for you. I just heard, I wish you wheels. I wish you, um, I wish you wheels. I wish you, I forgot what it is, that Jay-Z um, comment. I wish you wills, I wish you well, or something like that. I wish you insight so, so you could see for yourself. I don't remember it, and I don't even know why. Maybe maybe they love Jay-Z. Maybe their their name was G. But I was trying to say J. But maybe their name was G-J, or started with Z, or ended with Z. Either way, they want you to choose yourself. They want you to choose life because that's what they've chosen. They chose love. They choose life. And I'm hearing, I choose you, babe. You see, this is exactly what I'm saying. They are not dead. I don't even know what bird that is. A dove? Look up spirit animals, birds, not just birds. Look up the meaning of any spirit animal when you're moved to do so, because that is the ancestors, not necessarily this particular ancestors, but all of our guides and ancestors give us messages on the wings of love. Like they said, they're flying. You see what I was telling you? They're learning. They're continuing their education. This re represent to me, to me, take it as it resonates. This represents water. Jesus walking on water in the Bible represented, um, represents balancing your emotions. 
the book reminds me of the book of life or the Bible. And a lot of people think the Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. And again, as you believe, you're done unto yourself as you believe, you know. I.e., the universe meets you at your level of consciousness. So some people believe in this stuff and some people do not. I feel like some people are, are going to be led to this video because they need to hear this message. Anywhere you're led, there's always, um, there's never any, um, never any, um, I'm hearing constituency, random, random constituency. There's never any mistake when you're led to do something, when you're led to go places, you know, never, never any, never, um, any, uh, mistake. The universe, excuse me, doesn't make mistakes. The universe does not make mistakes at all. <laughs> Look at this. This was on top and I didn't take it. And I, um, it was on the top of the deck when I flipped it over. I didn't take it and I fl flipped it over. Um, you're in deep thought about it, about them. And as soon as you think about them, that's why they're right there. They're just a thought away. I am right here helping you. I am right here. I have never left. I'm hearing that song. When I see you again. When I see you again. I'm right here. And look at this. You see? <sighs> Thank you for always allowing me to be a clear channel. When I see you again, we will be together again. They said not soon because you have work to do here. Work, 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 work. They're partying. They're on a cruise. They're definitely partying. And I'm hearing the grill. Jamaica. R Roy's? Is it Roy's? Or oh, Rick's? Rick's Cafe. That's where they're jumping off that, um, they're showing me jumping off the, the that rock, the cliff. They are partying. They're chilling. We will be together again. Well, guess what? I when I say when they say you, we will be together again. That's why it doesn't say soon. We'll be together again because I'm just a thought away. You're not going anywhere. You have work to do. And look, it's time for you to take a vacation. They said, water sports, water works is what I'm hearing. Water world. The earth is our learning school. Again, continuing education. A lot of people don't understand that when you come to earth, because there are infinite amount of dimensions, multiverses, and we're ever expanding, right? Earth is a learning school. Many are chosen, but many are called, but the chosen are few is what they're telling me. And I know that to be a fact. Many are called, but the chosen are few. This is a learning planet. Look that up. I feel that the book, I feel like maybe you are, here's what I'm getting. Not only is your ancestor uh, learning and uh, continuing their education, but you are going to take this as a sign for you to do the same now. You know that they're okay. And so now you can continue your education. And maybe it's, you know, maybe it's in a, I heard glowing global. Go, glowing global. Going global. So maybe, you know, maybe you're, you're, um, you were wondering if you should take, you know, I'm hearing abroad. I'm hearing abroad, but not take abroad, like as in take a girl. I mean, take abroad as in take continuing edu educational classes um, abroad. And yes, you should. That's what they think. They're going to be right there with you. Look. They are right there with you because they're doing the same thing. I'm over here learning. They're, they're continuing their education. And they, they, feel, they, they, they feel you should too. But they feel that... Here, they want me to explain what, what they feel. They feel that you should do what you want to do. 
So if it's education, they don't say that you should continue your education. They feel that you should do what you want to do. So if you feel that it's continuing edu your education and they feel that it is, then you do that. But if it's, if it's, if it's, um, look at the next card that's so remember me by the happy memories we created. So some people's photography. And if that's what you feel like doing, continuing education, I'm hearing, um, parks department continuing education i know like the parks department your local uh they said local areas you know parks department local cities and um muni well m municipalities have parks departments or programs that you can do you know take up pictures or whatever it is that you want to do this one definitely needs to be one one two I feel that this perfect, this personal, this is a personal card for me because it was what, um, and then there's seven birds up here. One, two, four right here, five, six, and then there's one right here, seven. So I'm getting from this that it was six years ago. Somebody passed away six going, set, going on six years ago. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Passed away six years ago, going on seven years. Because that seventh bird up here is kind of blurry. And look at their hands. Your hands are in your face. Because you feel that it was, um, you know, that they were in pain. Well, my brother transitioned. A car accident took him to, his, um, to, the, to the other side. And that is exactly what prompted me to wake up to my gift. It's actually a little, like I said, a little blurb. Um, it still bothers me sometimes. Of course it does. My brother passed away in 2004. He was the love of our lives. He was the love of our lives. Prince of hearts he was. And it was what woke me up, what woke my gift up. My um, my website gives a little blurb on it. Don't you remember it was part of the contract? Was the first words I hear. That's what made me think I was losing my mind. But again, I say in my other videos, I knew that I wasn't really losing my mind. It's just the ego. When you wake up spiritually, the ego dies and it, it doesn't know what to do with itself. So... It gets scared, the ego that is, and it starts telling you that you're crazy, you're losing your mind, you know, other people don't know, is not going to understand. I, I kind of feel, I don't know if you guys see this, but this is like a face. I see this, like this person has black long hair, and this is a face. I see like eyebrows, I don't know if you guys see that, and like they're kissing. But they're perfectly okay. Don't hold on to any guilt, they're perfectly fine. I was reading that, um, I was reading about um, my Spirit Animals book. It, it's called, I forgot, I'm going to do a book series. But it was, um, I'm hearing The Secret Life of Bees, but the book was about the afterlife, the amazing afterlife of animals. I think that was the name of the book. The amazing afterlife of animals. Um, but they're telling me two two things i'm getting two or three messages somebody is with you know remember the card said we're with loved ones loved one loved ones also include um animals so i feel like this resonates with one or two people that you wondering about the actual person the loved one your family member and you're wondering about an animal that you lost and they want me to know both the animal they want me to let you know both the animal and the um the the parent i'm getting both the animal and your parent are perfectly fine they're together and you were wondering that but this is your confirmation they are together and they're safe they're fine that book was amazing the amazing afterlife of um animals when i read it i thought of the cartoon the secret life of pets again we're not taught all of these things you know and they're the oh they're in a wonderful place. They don't want you to feel guilty. Maybe you feel that you had something to do with it if you were there, 3443. So that was a confirmation. <clears throat> you feel like if you were there, 
it was going to change anything. But they would like you to know that their 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 death, their transition is written before we get down into our bodies. It's already written. So there isn't anything that you could have done about it. There isn't even anything that they could have done about it. Is what they want you to know. It was meant. It was, you know, Jamaicans have a saying: if you fi die by fire, you're not drowned. Meaning, if you the the translation is, if you're supposed to die by fire, you're not gonna drown, which then leads to us to know that however you're supposed to go, is the way that you're gonna go. It's already planned by the higher power and your higher soul. They need you to know that. Long Island Medium, maybe you've been watching that show, 3535, so that's a confirmation for somebody. I absolutely love that show. Way before I realized that I was cognizant, excuse me, or way before I was cognizant of the fact that I am clairaudient, one of my favorite movies is Ghost, and um, I love that show, Long Island Medium. Absolutely love the show. Every single episode used to have me in absolute tears. Tears, it was just so touching. You see what I'm saying? They're repeating. This This is the last of the messages. That's what they're saying. But they say they're going to see you again. They're always there. They always give you a good night kiss. And they're always sending you messages. Again, if you'd like to reach out to me, maybe you would re like to reach out to me. I can help you. If you'd like to book a reading, a personal reading, to reach out to your loved one and or animal, uh, you can book a personal reading with me at my website at lissislighthouse.com or you can contact me on um, Instagram, lissislighthouse79. This is what the last message that they have for you. They're standing right next to you. They never left. They never left. That's why you can still smell them. I can still feel you. They just said. And I think that's what was the line from the movie Ghost. They want you to remember them. Remember me. Remember me. Also, a lot of people, this is what they're telling me. The pictures. Take them down. That's what I'm hearing. You have pictures. This is for somebody else. It might be for the same person that's doing photography. But I don't feel that it is. Take the pictures down. Take the pictures of, of, of them down on their wall. They said they don't want you to keep them there anymore. Not because they don't want you to remember them, but because it is too painful for you. And when you hold on to the pain and you don't move forward, they cannot move forward. That's Somebody needed to hear that, and I'm going to repeat it. Take the pictures down of your loved ones. Put them away. They said you've honored them enough that way. And when you put them away or take them down, it's not disrespectful to them. You've Some people want to keep them up there. And some people feel that they've thought about taking the pictures down, but they don't want to disrespect the ancestor. And they're telling me to tell you that it's absolutely no disrespect. What's disrespectful to them is when you don't take the best care of yourself. And if keeping a picture of me keeps you from moving forward in your life, then that's the disrespect. I need you to move forward with your life because when you move forward, I move forward. The fact that you keep crying keeps me stuck and I'm not upset at you because I understand, but I need you to know this and I need you to know it now. That's exactly what I'm getting. Somebody needed to hear that. When you are stuck, I am stuck and I don't want to be stuck anymore. And I don't want you to be stuck anymore. So always know that I am right here. I am right here. I never left. We will be together again because you're not going anywhere. It's just that I always come to see you. I'm here helping you. I'm learning over here. But if you don't learn, then I can't learn. I need you to move forward because you need to do that. It's time. And I'm hearing 17, so maybe it was 17 years ago. My brother passed away. My own brother passed away um, in 2004, so that's about 17 years ago. 
Mm -hmm. Is what I just heard. Mm -hmm. Somebody feels free. Your ancestors said to tell you that you feel free. Freedom Parkway, I don't know, downtown Atlanta, maybe you're traveling, you're going to Freedom Parkway, you feel free. And that's a wonderful feeling. I have one last card for this reading. It's from my Wild Offering deck. I love this. Oh my God, all my, all my, all my cards are just beautiful. All my decks. Direction. Look at this. Your direction is up. And look at the beautiful card. Maybe they're... 4, 4, 40, 44. Yes. I was asking a question and they just confirmed it. Somebody's growing a garden. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean somebody's ancestor. Well, guess what? They're telling me that you think that you have a green thumb. You do. And now that you're here, whatever happened with you bringing... Whatever is guiding you to lead to to listen to this message, maybe you're a leader, maybe you're leading. They said, "Come to the edge. You are part of the leading edge. You give us direction. You give us direction. That's why we follow you. <clears throat> Excuse me, not the other way around. That's why we need you to move forward in your life." I just heard, "I need direction in my life." That's right. You give us directions. You are on the leading edge because you are on the earth plane. The, 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 um, the learning school. So we learn from you. Yes, you learn from us, of course. We guide you. But again, that's part of the journey to know how powerful you are. You lead us. You are our ancestor. Lord, please show me the right action right now. Please bring a sign and a miracle. <laughs> That gives clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body. And if for some reason I'm about to head the wrong way, please stop me. You see, I didn't even read the card, but I was just reading the energy from it. Exactly what I was saying. They said, they don't need to repeat it. 42 to 22. 222 two, two equals trust. They don't need you to repeat it. They're telling me to tell you after you watch this video, you're going to have the magic of the green thumb because it's meant for you. Something, they said you've been activated. Something just got unlocked. And not because of reading the video, watching the video, because of your own work, of your own direction. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful message. It really was. I recently got that deck. I would like to end the reading by giving a little prayer because I have this on my prayer box and they're telling me to show you the prayer box. I got this. Just a little prayer box. I must have got it at, you know, one of those stores in my travels. I'm not exactly sure where, but it wasn't cheap. Um, excuse me, it wasn't expensive at all. But inside, you know, just little pieces of paper that you write your prayers and affirmations. But on the box, it says... When your head starts to worry and your mind just cannot rest, put your prayers down on paper and let God do the rest. I hope this assisted somebody. Again, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at my website, lessislighthouse.com. And you can go to my IG page at um, lessislighthouse79. This was such a beautiful message. I know that it resonated with me as well. Have a wonderful day. Continue to stay blessed. Have a great weekend.